Now, going back to this uh, more settings, uh, the very little, the little box on the very right. Uh, so uh, if I want to change the way that it has uh, been, that it's showing to me, uh, then what I can do, I can say paged, for example, and it will, I can say I want to only see one page per screen or I want to see two pages per screen. And you'll see now that's what I see. If you say auto, it's just going to choose it of its own accord, probably based on the zoom level. Uh, oh, not even, even though I zoomed it out to the smallest level. For whatever reason, it has decided one page per screen is the way to go. But regardless, you can uh, choose whatever you like. And then you'll notice there are these little arrows. Uh, and so you can uh, page through it by clicking the arrow. You can page back by clicking the other arrow. Uh, the other uh, way, and the way that I like the most, is to uh, do it as a horizontal notation. Now you'll notice this just brings up another aspect. Sometimes features in this menu appear and disappear based on what other feature you have clicked. So you'll notice because I, pick, I, I clicked paged, then the horizontal notation uh, button went away because you sort of can't have them both. Uh, so you'll just uh, just realize that if you're using this menu and there's a feature that was there yesterday and now it's not there today, just try uh, changing some other thing that you've clicked and then you'll find that it will come back. So I'm going to click horizontal notation and now I just see the music like one big ribbon of sound. Again, I can zoom in, zoom out uh, as much as I would like. And so now when I play the music, when it gets to the end of the line that's visible on the screen right now, it's just going to scroll itself, uh, reposition itself, so we see what uh, is next. So you see now it has <clears throat> moved on to the next thing. Personally, I really like this, uh, this kind of uh, view, but you can, the nice thing about this sound slice is you can choose whichever layout uh, you prefer and whichever ever layout you like the best. Now, if I go all the way up to the top, um, you'll see, of course, there's a, a volume bar. And then you'll notice here it says instruments recording or synth. And what that means, uh, and that's the same as down here where it says audio or synth. So synth is the, is the sound that, uh, that uh, what's this thing called? <laughs> sound slice, uh, will naturally make when I upload the music to the, the web page, it will uh, create the sounds in what we call MIDI, uh, and so now you'll notice that when I press play, so now you're hearing it as a piano. And when you've got it on synth, the advantage to that is if uh, I can, if I want, this is where if I click the little icon all the way to the very right, now I can say I would prefer that, let's say, the, um, the soprano comes to me instead as an oboe. Uh, now, so the soprano alto, rather, since they are both on the same, uh, on the same line here. And uh, so now, when I press play, and the advantage to that is, let's say I get to a point where there is uh, soprano alto and tenor bass, let's try here for example, uh, I'm going to hear the soprano alto as an oboe, but I'm still going to hear the tenor bass as a, as a piano. And this can be helpful for you if you want to just kind of make your part stand out a little bit. So uh, if I click here, 
And then the other thing I can do is change the relative volume of each part. So if I want to hear the tenor bass as piano, but I want to hear it a little softer, let's say I put it to about 50%. And if I want, I can hear even softer. I can almost not hear the, the tenor bass there uh, at all. Uh, so you can adjust the relative volume. You can entirely mute the other track, in which case you're still going to see all the music, but you're only hearing your own part. Or you can say hide. And then all you're going to see uh, is uh, your own part. I would have to also click hide on this track one. And then all I see is the soprano alto. So that does make it a little simpler for you to uh, choose what you want to choose, have it sound like you want it to sound, and uh, adjust the relative volumes. I'm just going to make this go back to piano just to, I can't remember which, let's say piano standard. Yeah, that's what that one was. Now everything sounds uh, the same. So the difference between this synth and recording is that uh, SoundSlice gives me the uh, possibility of uploading a recording uh, of the music uh, that then uh, in this case, it's I created the music in my music notation program, and um, the advantage to that is that I get more flexibility because this music has such a variety of different lengths of pauses after each bar. Uh, Sound Slice will just keep on playing it uh, all the way through. For example, if I go back to synth here, and I just start uh, at the end of this bar. It just keeps going on according to the tempo that's been set. Now, if I wanted, I could go in and put all kinds of tempo changes into it, but that's uh, quite complicated. Whereas in my music notation software that I recorded this through, uh, those tempo changes were already created. So now if I go here, You see how it left a longer pause uh, in between each of these bars, more like the way that uh, we will be doing it. Uh, the one thing you do notice, let me go right back to the beginning of this bar, uh, is that the, the bar that's scrolling along will not show, necessarily show you exactly the note that you are hearing at the time that you are hearing because it has to take these tempo changes into account and get itself to the beginning. What it kind of does is makes sure it starts each bar at the right spot according to this line, but uh, it might not show you exactly the end of the bar. So you will get a truer uh, sound to the recording. If I wanted, let's say there were a YouTube video of a choir singing this arrangement that I've created, you could even, uh, I could even upload that recording and then you would actually hear people singing the piece of music. Uh, but if you want to have more control over hearing one part louder than the other, all that kind of stuff, you're going to go to synth. Uh, if in this menu, you would go to recording, but if you don't have that menu open, recording is the same thing as audio and synth. Oops, I don't need my calculator. Uh, synth is the, the, uh, the sound of the, the, the default sound slice sound. 